It's Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Today, we are out past the town of Canara, and we're at uh, a ranch out here that has uh, dairy cattle. And the name of this ranch is San Jorge. And my friend uh, Miguel uh, Roja um, owns the ranch here along with his brother. And this ranch is 80 hectares, or almost 80 hectares, huge. They have 90 head of milk cows here, and that includes babies and the bulls. Um, but this is a wonderful place. You can see behind me, I mean, these mountains just kind of go forever. There's a river right down below, so they got access to fresh water that comes up here. The purest, purest water, I think, anywhere around here. This is such a wonderful place. We're going to talk to Miguel for a few minutes, let you know a little bit about what they do. He has some award-winning cattle, um, some of the cows for most milk. These cows give, on average, um, 15 liters a day. That's almost three gallons. There are the brown Swiss variety, and uh, his bull has won awards for most semen, and the cows have won awards. You'll see that in the videos that we put up here. So can't wait to show you more of this place. Stay tuned. still here at Finca San Jorge. I'm here with my friend Miguel, and my new friend, and uh, a wonderful amigo. Miguel, muchas gracias. Bien, bien. So um, bien, we're bien. here, and of course we've got Santiago here. Yeah. Hi there. So Miguel, uh, possibly preguntas? Sí? Sí, sí. Um, Miguel, um, uh, where were you born? Donde naciste? Yeah. Lima. Lima? Lima. Sí, Lima, sí, Peru. Lima. Lima, Peru. Y ahí nací en 1969, tengo 53 años y provengo de una familia pues este peruana, ecuatoriana, ¿no? Ah. Peruana, ecuatoriana y mis raíces también son bastante peruanas. Bueno, estudié mi primaria y mi secundaria allá. So, born in Lima and uh, studied in Lima first years in Lima, and uh, to finally come over to Ecuador. Mm -hmm. And so, um, how long have you had this farm here? Hace cuantos años tienes este, esta finca, este rancho? Bueno, mi papá la compró más o menos en el 2001, más o menos, si es que no me equivoco, y, y él se dedicó a lo que es la ganadería, ¿no? Él tiene mucha experiencia desde joven, en lo que es la ganadería y de ahí pues se dedicó a la lechería. He bought the farm in 2001. His dad bought it, uh -huh. and he straight uh, converted this this farm to a milking farm. Mm -hmm. So about 22 years, roughly, they've been here on this farm, and uh, but gosh, you've done a lot of work on this farm in 22 years. This is fantastic. So uh, you'll see some of the videos of what they do here. Um, uh, hacer queso. Acá fabrica, este, hacen queso, ¿no es cierto? Claro, sí. claro. Acá tenemos una pequeña fábrica de queso con unas máquinas y, y se lo hace artesanalmente. Son quesos frescos que salen justamente no para la ciudad de Loja, sino para la, para la parroquia de Quinara, para la parroquia de Cabamba y, y Malacatos. Zona turística que siempre quieren algo rústico, ¿no? So yes, they make their own uh, cheese, fresh cheese, queso fresco, fresh cheese, and they actually sell locally, what's Quinara, Vilcabamba, and Malacatos. Uh, all in Quinara, Vilcabamba, and Malacatos. Correct. And so do they sell anything in Loja at all? No, they don't no sell in Loja. Loja. Just locally. Correct. And, and cuantos queso por año? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuántos quesos? ¿Cómo? Sí, ¿cuál, la producción, qué ah, cantidad, ver, ¿tienen los números? Este, nosotros diariamente en temporada de invierno, temporada de invierno es cuando llueve, se produce más o menos entre unos 240 a 250 litros diarios, donde sacamos 80 quesos y sale más o menos también unas 90 libras de quesillo diario, estoy hablando del día. Ya. Yeah. So in the raining season, they have 
250 liters of milk per day okay wow. and from this 250 liters per day they um, converted to around 80 piece of cheeses cuántas libras me dijiste 80 90 libras about 80 to 90 uh, pounds of cheese 80, 90 pounds of per cheese. day per day mm -hmm. wow wow that's a lot that's a lot of cheese that's so and cheese. i understand you have won a lot of awards for your cows sorry he has won a lot of awards for his cows uh ribbons and awards ah awards yes que has ganado bastantes precios con tu premios con tu vaca sí y toros mi pie El pie de, de esta ganadería es pie de leche, es Brunswick. Manejamos esa raza porque eh, tiene doble propósito, de carne y leche. So Brunswick is the race that the of of, of uh, his cows and um, <coughs> they use it for uh, milk but also for meat. Oh, so mm -hmm. he does sell some meat from here. He does sell some meat, and uh, and I understand uh, cedro, possibly some pig too. Ah, también tienes este chancho. Sí, sí. Tengo una pequeña granja de chanchos que comparto con con mi sobrino. Este, tenemos este lo que es porcino de engorde que lo sacamos casi a los seis meses, de más o menos unas seis a siete arrobas. Eso viene a ser 170, 180 libras. Así que él compartió con su nieto, un pequeño negocio, Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's perfect size for butchering. Yeah, that's a lot of meat. That's bueno. So, um, Miguel, um, what would you say your biggest challenges as a farmer would be? The biggest challenge that you see, biggest problem. ¿Cuáles este serían o tuviste en el pasado? ¿Cuáles fueron los retos más grandes en esta en este rancho o los problemas que tuvieron? Bueno, yo para empezar, yo soy eh, ganadero por accidente, ¿no? Porque, bueno, esto lo manejaba mi padre. Y por motivo, yo, yo trabajaba en el banco, en Guayaquil, y por motivos de, de, de enfermedad de mi papá, tuvimos que, que venir acá yo y asumir este, esta responsabilidad con mi hermano, ¿no? Eh, hay, hay varios retos, ¿no? Hay varios retos. Queremos el tecnificar y industrializar esta propiedad para que sigue para yo después seguir. Yes. So Miguel is telling me that um, originally, as as we know, this uh, this farm was um, of his dad. So he was doing all the work here, doing everything. But his dad got sick, and Miguel was working in Guayaquil, in the Banco Guayaquil, oh. in Guayaquil. So he used to live in Guayaquil, and as soon his dad got sick, he couldn't manage to the farm anymore. So he had to give up his work and come here. And by his own words, he is a farmer now, well, from many, many years ago now, he's a farmer by accident. So yes, so that was his biggest um, challenge is just coming from one day, um, I'm a banker, I work in a bank, and next day I'm a farmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a challenge. It it's a is. big change. Mm -hmm. So Guayaquil is about 14 hours from here, would you say? Um, from from Vilcamba, I would say nine hours. Nine hours from mm -hmm. Vilcabamba. Yes. Another hour and a half to here. Yeah. So. Sí. A ver, los, los retos que hay acá, en realidad, que nos hemos propuesto, es en realidad es mejoramiento. De, de pie de leche, o sea, ganado de leche. ¿Por qué? Porque el, el, la propiedad se presta para, para tener vacas de 30 litros, pero este, hay que hacer una inversión de traer, este, lo que, de traer o hacer 
embriones o embriones sexados. ¿Qué se trata de embriones sexados? Pones de parte de una vaca pura con un toro puro y eso se llama embriones, ¿no? Para que acá tú tengas ya no vacas de 15, 18 litros, sino de 25 litros. Mejoramiento. So, first he explained me that um, this farm is a, has the perfect spot, the perfect place to have cattle on, okay? Especially the cows. And secondly, he's trying to explain me that um, um, he needs some, he's going to invest a little bit more in um, what is the ras of the cows. You have different types of cows. And right now he has a 15 liter cows. So to milk 15 liters per day. But if he invests a little bit more and better in, in his overall farm and in the rest of the cows, he can get up to 30 liters cow. Wow, 30 liters of, so of 30 milk liters per cow per day. Per cow per day. Wow. So if he can, uh, as he was saying before, technify a little bit more and have everything. Innovation, he needs some more innovation and he can get it down. He can get the uh, cows 25, 30 liters, which is it's a lot. It's a lot. It would be twice what he has now. And what he has now, 15 liters per day, as you said, almost three gallons is already. It's already. Uh, Very big deal, heavy yeah. production, yeah. It's already a big deal, yeah. Yeah. So uh, everything on this farm is natural. Uh, there's no chemicals. Um, they don't use milking machines, as you see in the video. They um, milk all these cows by hand. And the grass here, I'm very impressed. He's actually got pretty good grass, in my opinion. And that comes from uh, rotation, from moving the cows from right. paddock to paddock. Exactly, yeah. The, the space is so so big that they can rotate the cows from one place to another place. So to, have, to give them the grass time to, to grow. <laughs> so... Right. so they have a beautiful river down below with pure, pure water. So these cows are getting pure water up here and they grow tilapia. Yes. So a lot, a lot, a lot happening on this farm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Miguel, is there anything that you would like to tell our viewers um, about your farm? ¿Quieres contar, quieres contar a las personas este algo de tu finca, de tu rancho? Claro. Y bueno. Nosotros tenemos más o menos ya 30 años acá dedicado a la ganadería. Queremos este, esto tecnificarlo, industrializarlo, para sacar un producto muy bueno y sacarlo a, a las ciudades, porque la gente de las ciudades son mucho más estimadas, pero también tenemos una idea de sacar un queso mejorado para ver si hay la opción o la oportunidad de exportarlo, ¿no? Como habíamos conversado antes también como la panela no mi, mi, mi sueño mi aspiración es sacar un producto de acá justamente de esta propiedad que mi padre obtuvo que esta es la imagen de mi padre para sacarlo a Europa como de mis amigos de Piura que en sus, que sus ranchos mandan mango manga, mandan el limón mandan chirimoya yo creo que haya la opción la oportunidad de hacerlo so yeah, so his final words were uh, are that he wants to again he wants to innovate, he wants to technify, he wants to his final goal is actually to export or or a better cheese, better cheese uh, product or even panela. One or one or two because he he has a sugar cane too in this farm. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And export it. So panela is a is a sugar cane, um, and it's the first process in making sugar. Um, we get this uh, brown sugar, if you will, that they call panela here. Wonderful, it has a great flavor to it. I use it in my my cafe, my coffee every morning. Right. Um, love panela. <laughs> it's a it tastes way better than anything we've got in the states. Right. Um, a, a lot of the sugars in the states come from sugar beet production, arumalachas, and and so that's just not the same. The panela has a much better, stronger flavor, I think. So um, this farm, he has uh, mandarins on this farm and they planted agua, uh, avocado trees, aguacate. They planted um, 
naranja, which is an orange, and they planted uh, naranjilla, which is a little bit different from an orange. Uh, he just gave me some fruit drink downstairs they make with clove in it and all these wonderful things. Ah, oh, man, spectacular. Spectacular. So, uh, Miguel, eh, muchas gracias por this interview. Thank no, you so much. Muy amable. Hemos tenido una amena conversación y creo que ha sido muy agradable. Cuando quieran acá a sus casas, ya saben, también acá en la Hacienda San Jorge también tenemos eh, terneros que, que vendemos, vaconas y también vacas de primero o segundo parto de leche. Y ganado es de pie de leche y cuando quieran con mucho gusto. Acá estamos la familia Rojas Cruz para atenderlos. Un placer. Gracias, so the family Rojas Cruz is uh, here ready to receive you, be welcome to Popen. And he says saying that he has uh, some uh, cattle, cows, um, what do you call the young cows? Um, calves. Calves yeah. for sale, so premium yeah. quality, natural, no chemicals. So be welcome. If you want to buy something, just uh, contact Miguel. Fantastic. And I, I tell you, much respect for this man. This is a hard job. I've done it, uh, not with milk cows, but with beef cattle. And this is a full-time job, 365, seven days a week. And there are no hours. It's all the time. Um, you know, it might be the middle of the night. You have a sick cow. Yes. So uh, yeah. much respect for Miguel. And I hope you'll uh, do him the service of giving a big thumbs up to the video. Ciao for now. <laughs>